Okay, good day. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you of how to use the echo functionality in an Arduino sketch. So again, this is a new um, new Arduino sketch because there's there is no content for the void setup and loop uh, void loop function block. And then in this time, um, I've already properly configured the Arduino board, which is Arduino Uno that I am using, and the home port that it corresponds. So let me, uh, uh, please allow me to type the contents of the Arduino sketch. So we have byte, bytes in. And then, since we're going to use the serial monitor, Then we're going to again use this for the serial that begin and then with a void loop okay so when it's statement Bytes in is equal to serial dot read. And then serial dot write bytes in. Okay. So we have this code. Okay. Okay, before we verify it, so I'm going to discuss with you the contents or what does this line of code mean? Okay, for line one, we have byte, bytes in. Byte is a type, is a data type. And then bytes in is the name of the data type uh, byte. So actually you can choose whatever name variable that you have, but as a good programming practice, if you're going to assign a name to a particular data type, you have to make it descriptive. Descriptive in terms of its use in the in the code. So that um, it's easier for other programmers and even you, if you have thousand lines of code, to identify. So, oh, this variable means that um, it stores the bytes, for example, the, the text that is written. So that's why it's, uh, for example, bytes in. And then... Uh, bytes in, and they're also following this naming convention, camel case. Camel case means if your variable variable name has two words, of course you have to. There's there should be no space between them, and then we have small letter for the first word, and then for the next word is we have um, we have capital letter I, and then for again if since we're going to use the serial monitor, we have to use serial dot begin then baud rate nine thousand six hundred. Okay, for all uh, programming uh, lines of code, we are using semicolon. So semicolon serves as as for us in English language or, or in sentences. This is the period. This is the end of the sentence. So. For programming, semicolon marks the end of a line of code. If you do not put a semicolon, there will be an error. So I'll show you uh, what error will be generated if you for, if you forget a semicolon. Okay, next is we have in the void loop. As you can see, if you put this um, uh, lines of code inside the loop, it will be repeatedly uh, executed. So we have this condition. We have if serial dot available. So meaning, if the actual user inputs a text inside the input section of the serial monitor, then what will happen? So the serial dot read will capture that input string, and it will be stored in bytes in. So that's the convention for um, storing storing data from a variable. It does not um, 
Uh, Ma'am, why is it in in reverse? Actually, this is already the standard for programming that if you're going to store data to a variable, it should be that the variable is equal to the, uh, for example, for this one, serial that read. So it, uh, it, it does not mean bytes in, the data from bytes in will be stored in serial read. No, again, or serial read is equal to bytes in. So it will always be uh, the right side of the equation is the one who's going to pass the data going to the left side of the equation. So that's the programming convention or standard in coding. And then we have this serial that write bytes in. So uh, the data that bytes in is holding will be displayed by using serial that write. Um, there's a question, Mom, why why don't we use print ln? A uh, print ln is used if your string is hard coded inside the Arduino sketch. But since the actual input string that we are going to capture is actually from the user, we have to use serial that right. So okay. So again, let's check if we have any errors for this um, program. But of course, when you verify it, it will automatically prompt you to save your work. Actually, most of the programming IDE nowadays are very considerate. Uh, not unlike previous programming IDEs that uh, if you don't save, uh, they don't, uh, and then there's a power outage of, oh my, what if your lines of code is uh, very uh, too many? Okay, so we don't have any error because we have seen this message. Okay, what if example for the date, uh, for the variable? Since as I've said, if your variable is two words, there must be no space in between. Let's try it um, in a two word. Will it produce an error? Okay, it will produce an error as it, as it said here. Expected initializer before in. So that's why, again, return it to the original. So again, you will generate an error if your two-word uh, two word variable is separated. There should be no space between them. But if you want to have, for example, two words, you can do an underscore. So let's check. Okay, so there is an error also aside from since you've changed your uh, data variable, uh, your variable name, you must reflect it to all. So actually there will be two errors for this one and for this one. So let's uh, return it to the original name. Okay, so it will be, there is no error. Okay, what if we forget? The semicolon. Okay, let's check. Okay, of course, as I've said, um, semicolon marks the end of a line of code. Since there is no semicolon, so exit status one, expected semicolon before the closing curly brackets token. Okay, so it's very important not to forget the semicolon. Okay, another, what if example you, okay, if you forget, but it's impossible here because uh, Arduino IDE already provides that if you have a open curly bra uh, bracket, it will also produce a closing curly bracket. So what if example you accidentally deleted? So uh, these are pairings. So as you can see for void setup, there is an open curly bracket paired. And then for void loop, the partner of this open curly brackets is this one because it's nested. And then the open uh, curly brackets of if its partner is this one. So it's very important to have indentation in your programming so that it, it is easily can easily be read by other programmers. And of course, you specifically if you do have too many lines of code. Okay, what if? Again, let's 
I accidentally deleted the the uh, oh, uh, closing curly bracket of the if block. So let's check. Okay, so we have expected closing curly brackets at the end of input. So actually, uh, class for 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 this um, demonstration. Um, since, of course, um, example, if you're the only one who is uh, 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 doing the program or you don't have your collaborators or your group mates, it's very important to read and understand the error. So that's why um, you have to understand, so again, the, the error so that you can locate it and you know what to do. So let's do it again. Let's check. Okay, so we have this one. So let's upload it now. This sketch to the Arduino board. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's no display yet. Why? It's unlike the Hello World. Arduino sketch, the actual user is going to input the message. So example, I type hi. Okay, so it will appear hi, uh, hi, hello. Okay, so you can, how are you? Okay, you can press enter or click send. Just the same function. Okay, so since we have, okay, per line, so we have this, hi, hello, how are you, thank you, and then you can actually input anything that you want for the echo. So actually, this is the uh, functionality of the echo. The echo captures the, the actual input string. It will be displayed at the output section of the serial monitor. So, you can clear the input again. So, this is it for this tutorial. So, thank you very much for listening. So, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And then, if you like this video and if you've learned something from this video, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. So, again, thank you very much and good day.